Hey folks, Schneider here. Uh, I was up on that mountain a couple days ago and took uh, a movie, a shot over uh, Cornell Road of what Paramount Ranch looks like today where we shot Dr. Quinn, where they shot, shot Carnival or Carnival. Johnny Cash did a special here. Klondike was shot here. Cisco Kid was shot here. I think Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid was shot here. And they've done really a wonderful thing here where they put up these signs. Look, they're everywhere. Celebrating the cinematic history of what happened here. And it was glorious, glorious. I had such a wonderful time. Uh, right over there is where my little trailer was and where they would bring me my badge and my holster and my gun and my horse for when I was Sheriff Daniel. And my office was right underneath, my sheriff's office was right underneath that burnt tree. And uh, the mercantile where Orson Bean, God rest his soul, ran the mercantile right there. Uh, the saloon was right there, and right across from the saloon, right there was Michaela's office. So fire is a devastating thing. And yet today, as I was driving over the mountains, I saw someone on the side of the road, Cisco Kid. Wow, I feel like a little bitty, little bitty child. I wasn't even born yet. But I saw someone on the side of the road flicking ashes from his cigarette in a very dry area. There's a lot of very dry areas here. I mean, look. Look at that little tree. Oh, that's a weed. I thought it was a little tree. But look. The hills here are very dry. Oh, there's our church from Dr. Quinn. It's still, uh, it's still here. But fire is a devastating thing, and I'm with Smokey the Bear. Only you can prevent forest fires. Now, I know that sometimes forest fires occur when lightning strikes, but my understanding at this point in my life, at this juncture in my life, is that by and large, forest fires occur by negligence or silly things, or people who just aren't thinking. So if you smoke or if you have a catalytic converter on the bottom of your car and you're in a dry area, please, please, please don't pull off into the weeds because you could be starting a fire without even knowing it. So here we are, it's a set of Dr. Quinn, set of many, many things, but my, my, uh, my experience here was Dr. Quinn. We did some Dukes of Hazard here too, not a whole lot, just a little bit, and we did a little bit of a, a show I did called Grand Slam here as well. Uh, as far as Dr. Quinn goes, I was in the, um, gosh, the fifth or sixth episode called Cowboy's Lullaby. And then later in the last year and a half, I was Sully's best friend when Sully had gone missing. Uh, and I was Daniel. I helped find uh, Sully, bring him home, and then I became the sheriff right here in beautiful Colorado Springs, Colorado. Let those trees there just be reminded, please don't throw ashes, throw cigarettes, throw matches. Don't, don't, don't throw anything like that out your window. Okay, this will be a beautiful place again, but it was stunning. And now, um, look at the size of those oak trees and look how deeply they were burned. Imagine the heat that had to have come through here to do it. All right, I'm John Schneider. Uh, just taking you around. Sharing my, uh, sharing my, my life with you. All right. You take care. Glad you're part of the conversation. Bye.